this case consider the issue of undue influence and in what situation restitution is available when a creditor has conducted an unconscionable conduct. In this case, a man mortgaged his house for a loan advanced to his gold merchant business. The wife of the man also signed the mortgage documents. The man and woman later separated and she brought an action against the bank on the basis that she believed that the loans were secured by the man's business in the form of money or gold. The wife maintained that the man pressured her to sign the documents and that he assured her there was no risk. She did not understand the guarantee and the bank had not advised her to get independent advice 